Don't wait. Well, what's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the Mad Ballers YouTube channel and our Georgia State Dynasty. The Panthers were at home last week in the Georgia Dome, and they improved to 3-0 in Sun Belt Conference play against South Alabama with a 49-27 victory over the South Alabama Jaguars. This week, they will be on the road facing off against the University of Louisiana Monroe, trying to go 4-0 in Sun Belt Conference play. Will they stay undefeated? We'll find out next. will have the ball to start out first on offense. Collier back to pass is going to dump it off to Dobinski and Stanley Dobinski gets seven yards on second down. That'll set up third and inches out of the shotgun for Louisiana Monroe. Hand off to Flanagan up the middle. He has the first down and more out to the 46 yard line of the Warhawks. First and 10. Shotgun set again. Collier looking to pass. Has all day. Nice projection. Floats it downfield. And Chris Long dives in for the deflection to knock it away. Second down and 10 now for Louisiana Monroe. Collier back to pass again. Floating this one outside to the sideline. Caught by Josh Williams. That's good for 14 yards and a first down into Panther territory. And Collier goes now. Two pass again and downfields is Towns and Joey Towns has a 20 yard reception. Down to the 20 of the Panthers. The Warhawks are on the move but Collier on first and 10 is gonna fire and be picked off by Nate Hawkins, the linebacker. He's out past the 30, up towards midfield into Warhawk territory, taken down at about the 43 yard line and an early turnover. Has good field position for the Panthers as the handoff in second and five goes to Matt Barnes. And he's fighting his way up the middle for six yards and a first down. Later on in the drive, the Panthers have third and three. Smith back to pass, lobbing it up deep. And that one is broken up by Daryl Cole. And the Panthers have to settle for a field goal and take an early three to nothing lead. As the Warhawks take over here, second and five. Collier back to pass, firing on the run. And it's caught by Monroe, and he breaks a couple tackles. Finally brought down at the 49-yard line. Second and ten now for the Warhawks. Hand off to Flanagan, trying to get outside here, but he is going to be stuffed at the line for no gain. Third and long now for Monroe. Flanagan in an empty shotgun set, looking, steps up, fires deep, two defenders there, but it's perfectly placed for Mike Owens, 48 yards down to the two yard line, and we have to take another look at this one. That was a spectacular throw and catch on that play, down to the two, first and goal, Monroe. Collier keeping this one himself. The play had no time to develop, and Collier sacked by Chris Sullivan for a loss of two on the play. Second and goal now, Collier's gonna keep it again himself, and this time he will make his way into the end zone for the seven yard touchdown run. And Louisiana Monroe takes a seven to three lead here in the first quarter. Georgia State takes over on offense. Handoff goes to Anthony Gross on the read option. He breaks a tackle and gains 14 yards on the ground. Second down and four now for the Panthers, and Smith will fake the handoff drop back. Dump it off to Donald Clark, the tight end. He has the first down into Warhawk territory on a 17-yard pass and catch. Second and three now here, late in the first quarter. Smith back to pass. He's going to fire and hit Trevor Phillips. That's a first down catch of nine yards. And at the end of one quarter here, Louisiana Monroe on top of number five, Georgia State, 7-3. Louisiana Monroe leads it 7-3. Georgia State starts the second quarter, trying to cap off this drive with a touchdown and retake the lead. Hand off to Anthony Gross on third and inches, and he has the first down on a hard gain, four yard rush. Later in the drive, it's second down and two from the six. Hand off to Gross up the middle, first down, just barely, a gain of three on the ground. 
And Anthony Gross has 38 yards so far in this game. First and goal, Smith back to pass, looking to pass, fires the end zone in traffic, and Luther Madison comes up with the catch. Steve Smith, four for five for 36 yards and a touchdown so far on the day. And Georgia State takes a 10 to seven lead now as the Warhawks and Collier take over here. This pass to Mike Owens, bobbled and dropped. That'll set up a second down and 10 now for the Warhawks out of the shotgun. Collier hands off to Flanagan. He has the first down and more and one defender to beat. Will he get to him? He will get there, but he eludes the tackle and Flanagan has a big touchdown run there. Travis Flanagan puts the Warhawks back on top, 14 to 10. The ensuing kickoff, BJ Allen back at his own five. We'll take this one. One out past the 20. He's up towards midfield into Warhawk territory, taken down at the 43 and that's where the Panthers will start this drive on offense Steve Smith on first and ten will keep it on the read option Ooh, rolls over defender there and gains 16 inside the 30 first and ten now for the Panthers Smith will hand off on the delay and Anthony Gross will be blown up in the backfield a loss of four on the play second down and 14 now for Georgia State Smith back to pass, looking deep, and caught by Trevor Phillips, down to the 12, a 21-yard gain. Second down and seven now for Georgia State. Handoff goes to Matt Barnes, up the middle. He has the first down. Can he get in? No, they rule him short at that half-yard marker. First and goal to go now. Smith will hand off to Barnes, and he will get in untouched for the touchdown. And Georgia State reclaims the lead. 17-14 to 14 here in the second quarter. The Warhawks will take over now. Collier back to pass. We'll dump it off to McGee. And McGee has nine yards on the pass and catch. Third and one for Louisiana Monroe. Collier. And this is a bug in the game. And he will go down after the sack there. Wish that would not happen, but it did. And Georgia State takes over after a punt. Here they have good field position, second and one. Smith will dump it off to Terrence Flynn inside the 40 at the 39 yard line. Second and one later in the drive. And Smith will keep it himself on the read option. He's down inside the 20, inside the 15, taken down to the 14 and a flag comes in. That is a face mask penalty, half the distance to the goal. So first and goal from about the eight in the pitch to Anthony Gross. He'll get down to about the four yard line a four yard gain on the play second and goal now Smith back to pass looking has all day here but he runs into a sack there after no one was open and Georgia State will have third and goal now from their own 17 yard line and Smith's pass will be dropped almost intercepted by Mike Finley and Georgia State settles for a field goal here at the end of halftime to make it 20 to 14 going into the half. It's a six point halftime lead for Georgia State. They will have the ball here, start the second half. Smith back to pass on third and seven. Sets up the screenplay to Matt Barnes and he avoids that tackle and gains 11. And the Panthers have a first down. Looking at the halftime stats here, Georgia State Evenly distributing the ball here on both passing and rushing plays. 86 passing, 81 rushing. Second and three now for the Panthers. Smith will hit Luther Masson on the screen play, and it does not work. He loses a yard on the play. Third down and four now for Georgia State. Smith will fake the handoff here, look to pass, pump fakes, drops back even deeper, fires deep downfield, double coverage, but Luther Masson makes the catch down at the three. A big play through the air for Steve Smith and the Georgia State Panthers. And we'll take another look at this one. This was like the Louisiana Monroe catch earlier. Luther Masson with a great catch. Way to throw that one right between two defenders. But a penalty would move Georgia State back. So on first and goal from their own 20, Steve Smith keeps this one himself. Breaks a tackle, runs his own lineman, and gets into the end zone there. So Steve Smith with a 20-yard rushing touchdown on the read option play. Puts Georgia State up 27-14. The Warhawks take over now, and this pass outside is broken up by Jonathan Gallagher. And that'll set up third and long here for Monroe. Collier back to pass. 
He has all day. His offensive line has been really good, but Townsend cannot hang on to the catch. And a quick three and out for Louisiana Monroe. Gives the ball back to Georgia State. Hand off to Stephen Leach outside. He breaks a tackle on second and 22. Out past the 30. A gain of 15 yards. So third and seven now for Georgia State. Smith back to pass. Hits Luther Masson on the slant play. But it's only good for six. And Georgia State goes three and out. The Warhawks take over here. Down by 13. Collier back to pass. Will hit Towns outside here for 13 and a first down. Later in the drive, it's second and six. And Collier hands off to Travis Flanagan up the middle. First down and more. Down to the 24-yard line. Second and four now for the Warhawks. Collier looking to pass. And his offensive line is held up very good. Hits Travis Flanagan outside for an eight-yard gain and a first down as he fumbles it out of bounds. First and 10 now. Collier will keep this one himself. And he will go down. Brad Williams gets into the backfield and gets the loss on the play. Second down and 12. Collier back to pass here. Looking, steps up, fires, and caught by Towns. No, he drops it at the first down marker. So third and 12 now for Louisiana Monroe. Collier back to pass. We'll lob this one up to the end zone. Wide open is Monroe. James Monroe with the TD catch. No one was there to cover him. An easy pass and catch. And at the end of three quarters, Georgia State's on top, 27 to 21. Georgia State has the ball to start the fourth quarter, trying to stay undefeated here in Sun Belt Conference play. Second and one, Anthony Gross gets the handoff, and he gets the first down. Third, second and eight now for the Panthers at midfield. Smith looking to pass, and he's going to fire deep and wide open. Trevor Phillips has the catch inside the 25. First and 10, Panthers. Smith now on the jet sweep, hands off to Luther Masson. He's going to gain seven yards close to the first down. Third and 10 now for Georgia State here from their own 17 or 13. And Steve Smith will go down a loss of eight yards on the play. And Georgia State has to settle for a field goal attempt here. The kick from Zach Glover is up and good. And Georgia State has a 30 to 20 lead now as we get a studio update. Number seven, South Carolina defeats number 10, Tennessee, 22 to 21. Back to our game here, the Warhawks only down by nine. Collier keeps this one himself. Georgia State looking to run the clock out, kind of, after this display or this offensive. Collier back to pass now, and he's going to fire deep to Towns, and Towns has the catch. 18 yards and a first down, and that will not help Georgia State get this ball back. Three and a half minutes to go now. Third and six for the Warhawks. Collier's going to dump it to McGee, and he's taken down short of the marker, but a flag is thrown. And this one's going to be against Georgia State. Face mask penalty, that's 15 yards and an automatic first down. So in Panther territory now. Collier hits McGee again this time. He has 11 and another first down. And they'll move up to the hurry up here. First and 10. Collier back to pass. Looking, firing, hitting McGee for the third straight time. And another first down catch by Darren McGee. Gets him inside the 15. First and goal to go. Collier back to pass here, firing to the end zone, and it is broken up by Vinny Hill. A touchdown saving deflection. Second and 10 now for Louisiana Monroe. Collier's going to hand off to Travis Flanagan, and he will make his way into the end zone for the touchdown. And Louisiana Monroe, after adding the extra point, is down by two points here late in the fourth quarter as you take another look at the touchdown run, bouncing off defenders. Georgia State with the ball now, trying to run some clock, but they're going to pass on first and 10, and this pass to Donald Clark going nowhere. No gain on the play, but the clock will run. Second down and 10 now. Smith, hand off to Stephen Leach up the middle. He is going to find his way to the first down marker, and Monroe will take a timeout, stopping the clock with under two to go. Second and nine. Smith will hand off to Anthony Gross up the middle, and he has a gain of five. And... Louisiana Monroe takes their final timeout. Third and four, what will the Panthers do? Smith 
Back to pass here, looking, cannot find anybody, and the pressure gets to him. He's sacked for a seven-yard loss, and Georgia State will have to punt, letting the clock run down a bit. You can see they have shut down Louisiana Monroe here in the second half, but down by only two, they are going to have a shot to take the lead here. First and ten from inside their own 30. Collier back to pass, fires it deep as he's hit, and it's caught by Joey Towns. 29 yards up towards midfield, and they already have a big play in them as they hurry up to the line, first and 10. Collier back to pass, he'll fire again in the middle and caught by Towns again, 16 yards. Two plays, 35 yards, and they're in field goal range already. First and 10 for the Warhawks. Collier back to pass here is gonna hit outside to Travis Flanagan. He'll be taken down for a one yard loss as the clock continues to run under a minute to go. Second and 11, Collier back to pass. He's going to lob this one up deep for Monroe, but he cannot hang on, incomplete. The clock stops, and the Warhawks have third and 11 now. Collier out of the shotgun here, looking, firing and hitting Dubinsky, and Dubinsky has the first down, down to the 19-yard line. The clock continues to run under 10 seconds. Collier keeps this one himself, and he's hit hard, and he falls down, and Georgia State takes a timeout. And that would be the biggest mistake we made on the day, taking that timeout as they were set up for a field goal and they make it. Georgia State, one last shot here. Down by one, the kickoff. B.J. Allen has to return this one. He's out past the 20 here, cuts it outside, out to the 40 and taken down at the 41. And the Warhawks can celebrate the upset of number five, Georgia State. The biggest mistake was Georgia State taking that timeout after the QB run. They should have let the clock run out. We thought we needed to have some time on the clock. We realized later that the clock probably would have run out and they would not have had time to set up for that field goal. Instead, Georgia State, number five in the country, goes down to Louisiana Monroe. Taking a look at scores from other games around the country this week, number 15, Texas A&M goes down to number 25, Auburn 33-7. to Taking a look at the stats from our game today, Louisiana Monroe just stayed around 260 yards passing on the day and a big mistake taking that timeout with five seconds left in the game. If we wouldn't have taken that timeout, we probably would have won the game. Steve Smith, 16 for 19, 192, so very efficient. Nate Hawkins, six tackles, one for a loss, and... An interception on the day, and Georgia State falls to number 17 in the country after that loss to Louisiana Monroe, 5-2 and two on the year. And we have some recruiting news. Brian Atkins, three new recruits here. First up, Brian Atkins, 6'1", 185, a four-star prospect, free safety, number five free safety in the country. He's a 77 overall safety here, so a big pickup for Georgia State on the defensive side of the ball. Andre Fuller, the six foot, 277, two star defensive tackle. He's a prospect that we could develop, and he's up four overall to a 64. So, this is a guy we could sit the first year, first or second year, and just develop him. And, num and Roderick Keller, six foot, 163, a two star punter. This guy is going to be replacing our punter who will be graduating. And he has 75 kick power, 66 kick accuracy. So that's a guy we'll have to develop as well. Though we did beat out a few big teams that wanted him, Michigan State, Michigan, and Notre Dame. So a great recruit there. Coming up in the next episode, Georgia State will be on the road again against Arkansas State at 3-3. Three and three. We're 5-2. and two. If we run the table, can we make it to the national championship game with two losses? We'll have to wait for that to play out. If you like this episode, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, and we'll catch you guys in the next episode.